So this next thing we're going to work on is instant ice. So this is an interesting phenomenon where you can actually have water that's frozen but not in a frozen state, or rather water that is below freezing but not ice. So what we're going to do is take our bottles of water, and you all should have four. There may be two or three different types, but they should be something like this. And we're going to put them in the freezer. Now this will not always work, but these are unopened, so the water is pretty pure. We're going to set them in there. And I understand we could set a timer for about three and a half hours, but I'm just going to leave these overnight. We'll come to back to them in the morning. And see what happens. And I'm going to move the humidity off of this. Now watch this. So we now have a bottle that is turned to ice. Or more like slush. And you can see that. So we'll try it again in the morning when we have better light. Okay, we're going into the freezer yet again. What? We're taking out one bottle. So Mariam, watch. See, this is water. Yes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I've seen that before. It's not great lighting. It was terrible lighting. So we'll bring it. You can see how the ice spread through the whole thing. So hopefully you can get this going yourself. How long is it? Now we're going to try another one. And what you want to do is basically get it to where it's freezing but not frozen. So Mariam, come here. You're going to open this. I'm going to open it. Gently. And then pour a little bit here and see if it freezes. No, okay, stop. You'll get a single ice cube. Never before has it been so hard to get an ice cube. <laughs> okay, put it in there. Anything happening to it? Mm, okay, pour that on top of the ice cube slowly. See how it immediately turns to slush? Make a tower. <laughs> now get a little closer until it actually follows up the. And now <laughs> the freeze actually goes into the bottle. And freezes the rest of it. Now tilt it upside down. And you can't even pour it out because it's frozen. That's cool. So that's pretty cool. So, if you look here, we have one bottle here, which, oh shoot, it looks like it might be frozen. 
Yep. Never mind. <laughs> God, it's like the fifth attempt. Okay, uh, right. we, we got a couple good bottles. We're gonna do one more bottle. See what happens. See if we can get a better, better visual of this. And here, hold that. And let's see if we can wipe off the humidity. Somebody has a kazoo. Okay. Now just smack it. So maybe that one wasn't cold enough. Yeah, I don't think it was. So that one's not quite frozen. Oh well. Maybe next time. So we've had this, we tried before and put it in for a while, but it didn't get cold enough. So we're going to see, first we have to make sure it's not frozen. So two bottles, and it looks like they're both in liquid form. So we're going to take this out. Notice how quickly the humidity from the room starts to collect on them. So what I'm going to do is hit it. Watch. You can see how the ice basically spreads through the entire bottle as it begins to freeze. It's so basically once you disturb it, it gets started, and you get that effect. So that's pretty cool. And then, I'm going to assume this one's in the same situation, but I'm going to open it. And start to pour it. And I don't see it happening. So this one must not have been cold enough. Yeah, so what we're going to do is try to put this back in a little bit more. And what you'll see is when you pour it, like this one is now slush. These have never been opened before. You see it's frozen, it won't come out. So everything in here is kind of slushy. So some of it does. But not, it won't let, won't let it all the way out. So if I had had this in for longer, it would have freeze, frozen more quickly. So maybe we'll put this in for a little bit longer and see what it looks like. I'm going to pour the water back in. Yep. 